when I backpacked through Israel in my youth. And there was a wonderful rabbi who let me stay with his family, actually, in a village called Betar. He invited me for a Shabbat because I wanted a real Shabbat experience. So when I got there, I experienced the most beautiful Shabbat ever. Here he was with his half dozen kids and his beautiful wife sitting around the Shabbat table. As the night went on, they sang these beautiful Hebrew songs. And what struck me is that more than 2,000 years ago, on the same land, the same people were singing the same songs. The Jewish people are the only people I know of who, in the same language, worship the same faith on the same land, in the same country, as they did 3,000 years ago. I want you to, to look at the echo of the unmatched history of the eternal Jewish people. I was able to witness that history and that resilience when then Prime Minister Harper assigned me to represent him on the March of the Living. I remember being shaken by the images that I saw there, the prosthetic limbs that had been ripped off incoming prisoners and gathered up in a storage room, the sheared hair, the jewelry, the instruments of torture, but most of all, I saw Israeli flags flying in the wind, the Star of David, the symbol of the Jewish people and now its homeland, was like a symbol of triumph. It said, from the faces of those Jewish young people, we are still here. You did not stop us. You are gone and we are still alive. Think of the trash can of history. It is filled with those who have tried and failed to destroy the Jewish people. From the Pharaoh to the Haman to the totalitarian socialist dictators of Hitler and Stalin, all of them have been defeated. And yet the Jewish people still go on. I don't know what the world will bring tomorrow. I don't know much less a hundred years from now. But I do know this, that a thousand years from now, whatever is going on, on Fridays, as the sun goes down, there will be a Shabbat in Israel. Those songs will still be sung. The Jewish people will go on. And they will still say, Am Yisrael Chai. Thank you.